I have a quick new video to share with you today on ELF's new putty product. Now I have already talked about some additional putty products they have already introduced into their existing putty line. Try saying all this putty three times. But now they have an eye primer. So this is the uh, putty eye primer. Now I picked out the shade Rose and this states it's a crease and smudge proof for 12 hours. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that as well. I'll do a check in. On the back of the packaging it says amp up your eyeshadow looks with this color intensifying eye putty primer that locks an eyeshadow for 12 hours of crease proof wear infused with vegan uh, squalane known to moisturize throughout the day now I have already have used this product a few times so this is an a first impression when I first looked at the putty uh, eye primer I think a lot of us thought the same thing especially when I saw all the color choices this looks like a Mac paint pot same dish and everything I've used the paint pots from Mac since high school and the one I tend to reach for I would say the most is painterly I also have soft ochre I felt that the closest shade in the elf putty primer would be the rose shade so that's the one I picked out now, I want to make note of this on the actual packaging on the box the shade for the rose it looks like it would be a darker brown shade well to me a darker brown shade but it matches up I would say that the let me put the max down I would say that the elf color here is lighter than what's on the box. I just want you to know that because don't just look at the packaging and think that it's as deep in color tone as it is on the box. The actual product itself I would say is a little bit uh, lighter in color. Now here is the uh, e.l.f. up against Painterly and I feel that there is a difference in tone as far as just overall sight. The putty, or excuse me, the e.l.f. putty looks like it has, here let me look in my mirror, this looks like it has more of a, like a, a nude tone, just like a, a flat nude brown tone, brown base. And then of course when you look at the Painterly by MAC, this has let me move that over a little bit. This has more of a, um, a pink tone to it. So it's nude, but a pink tone to it. So at first glance, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, they're not going to be the same shade. But swatched on my hand, they look very close in tone. Swatch on my palm here so that way my viewers that have fair skin, medium light skin, you can see what it looks like on your skin the tone is there as far as that rose and then of course on my skin tone too. Zoom you in because you, you need to really see this up close. I got my Lexi brush, I got my little paint pots here, I got my uh, cloth here to clean it off. So for my, um, what eye is this? My right eye, you're viewing left, we're going to put e.l.f. and then we're going to put the MAC on this side. Okay, so just take a look. Dab in. I'm just going to do it exactly the same way I do with my uh, matte Mac. I just dab right into the product. There is zero primer, nothing on my eyelids, and I have oily eyelids, okay? But this is what, like the first day, what impressed me with the e.l.f. I put this on, and I was like, oh, look how smooth that is. I just went in a second time. Look at how smooth that applies on my eyelid. And I really want you to see the color between the two, which is why I'm going in like a third time. Really coat this lid. And that way you can get an idea of that versus the MAC. As you're applying this and smoothing it out, I can feel it already starting to dry. It doesn't feel oily. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of moisture, you know, even though it has the ingredient to moisturize it. It just feels like a thinner version of a paint pot. That makes sense. Okay, I'm putting the lid on it here. I'm going to clean off my brush on my cloth. And this cloth takes anything off so I won't be mixing it in and on this eye my left eye your viewing right is the MAC painterly 
Now you can see the actual MAC product, I would say, a lot more than you can with the e.l.f. putty. And that is because, see the color intensity, just the difference alone. The MAC paint pot, the texture is what I would say thicker. Not, you know, terribly thick. But when you're comparing it, I have a little bit of extra right here. When you're comparing it against the e.l.f., it is thicker in texture. It is creamier in texture. Okay. It spreads. Well, first off, both of these just spread, you know, very easy on the eye. Especially when you're using a brush like this that is focusing on packing it on, but blending and buffing at the same time. So that is the, um, oh, I'm getting really messy. That's the uh, painterly. Usually what I have to do is I kind of have to go in here in my inner portion of my eye and kind of smooth that out a little bit further. That's just because of my eye shape. But with the e.l.f., I didn't have to do that. It just goes right into creases. It goes into lines and wrinkles and all kind of stuff. So that's a good sign. Then I'm really going to be comparing it to um, a Max, very popular product. Now, touching both, I can feel Max product a lot more than I can with Elf. Although Elf's had you know a little bit more time to dry. I don't feel you need to set the Elf putty; it just dries on its own. If you set your paint pot or you feel comfortable setting your Elf one, you go ahead. But again, I feel that you don't need to. Let's stop right here before I do anything else, just to give you an idea. The colors, the intensity, each eye looks the same. Elf, Mac. Check in. 
4.30 Pacific Standard Time. I'll figure out how many hours it's been. Good. Last check-in before the sun sets. There is a tiny crease. There is a tiny crease right here. Other than that, zero creasing. Well, well. Looks like Elf has provided a $5 vegan formula and cruelty-free option a wonderful dupe for the mac paint pot what do you think leave your comments down in the comments and also if you plan on picking this up thank you all for stopping by and watching i do appreciate it have a wonderful day or evening and as always i will see you in the next video goodbye